summon my almighty blue eyes white what, what what's happening oh my god everybody's clowning on me at the same time jesus christ <laughs> hello everybody how's everyone doing hope you're all right i'm not i've prepared a very strange stream and i hope it works out if not well then at least funny because there is no way in hell that what happens tonight won't be funny and you know that means a lot coming from me i've had weird streams before but you're not ready for this another weird Yu-Gi-Oh game how about three Welcome to my computer. Play video games here. My Windows XP. I got my wallpaper. I got my icons. Got my favorite video games right here. Don't worry, computer's still turning on. Oh, computer might be at risk. Perish the thought. This is based on a true story. Not Soul Taker, I mean, this stream is based on a true story. When I was a kid, we had these video games. Mostly this one. We may do with these two also, but mostly this one. They were kind of rudimentary cereal box-ass games, but they did have full gameplay. The Yu-Gi-Oh! experience was held together very nicely, and you had your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! characters in their dub voices talking to you during the whole match. Hold up, guys. I know I have some very interesting icons on my desktop right now. We'll get to them sooner or later. Uh, basically, Joy the Passion was the one with the most cards and most decks going on, that's that's the one we played. But yeah, uh, every, every Yu-Gi-Oh kid had one of these installed on their computer at some point. If you had all three, you had multiple uh, card pools available in Joey, which was neat. Check out this banger while I get something from the fridge. drinking today an energy drink to get me through this if you didn't catch on yet we're going to be playing all three games simultaneously you think I was gonna fire this shit up one after another <laughs> no. that would be enough thank you we're gonna turn them on one by one but when it comes to dueling that shit's going all in so you can experience the ethereal feel of that theme song kicking in. I was looking forward to Total War Pharaoh. Here's a sneak peek. I'm gonna put that one up there. Just so you see what kind of stuff we're operating with. Here's the deck you get in uh, Yugi the Destiny. Check that out. Normal monster beatdown featuring Ansatsu, level 5 with a 1700, in a deck where there's a level 4 with 1700. Your removal? Two-pronged attack, trap hole, dark hole. Do get changed for how that's pretty cool. What do you use it for? You use it for summon skull. Oh no, okay, with revenge, possibly the funniest menu music. What is he planning? This is the theme song to Kaiba scheming one of his old tricks again. This theme song to Kaiba hacking into the government to make the Pentagon print more blue eyes support. So what we have here is a slightly better normal monster beatdown deck in that we have an 1800 for a change. Some equips, negate attack, not, not as much in terms of removal. We get Share the Pain and uh, Tribute to the Doomed. These games made Tribute to the Doomed to be one of my favorite cards when I was a kid. I need to turn down the uh, music a little bit. I kind of love the soundtrack in these games though. It, it it goes unreasonably hard, especially in Joey. Let me, let me show you Joey's theme now because this is some funky shit. Great vibes in Joey's game. Hey! 
groovy. Funky. Ah. Uh, this needs some backing vocals, and it could be a twewy sharp theme. Check it out, I'm in the house like carpet. What deck we got in Joey? Joey's Joey gives you the coolest deck because, well, again, normal monster beatdown, but you also get Witch to Black Forest. And, and Sangen in the same deck. Card of safe return because it wasn't dangerous enough yet to get banned. Harpies, giant trunades, torrential. Uh, the half of this deck is dog shit normals. The other half is things that will be banned in the following two years after this game's release. It's also the most comprehensive game when it comes to uh, decks you can play against because uh, your opponent in these games, they usually like pick uh, a deck out of a pool of randoms, which uh, I don't know what the case is for Yugi and Kaiba, but for Joey it uh, gets harder the more you win in the game, so... Yeah, also, uh, these, ga these games were made back when you still had no limit on the size of your main deck. So it's not infinite, but it's 80 max instead of 40 max, so... Any Infernoid Grass fans, this is the game for you! If you know how to mod it. Still not sure if that's if you can mod effects into this game. I'm pretty sure I would have heard about it by now. Somebody asked earlier, is that Kazujin? So it's, a, it's funny that you asked that because the three guardians in this game, Sanga, Kazujin and Sujin, very good cards because, you know why? The AI doesn't read. It is a true Yu-Gi-Oh! player simulation. They will not read when dealing with your shit. They will just attack Kazujin and die. If you summon this, you kind of win. It still happens to people in real life, it's so sad. Another thing is that um, Yugi game, it kind of fucks up when saving your deck, in that when I win a card and I put it in the deck, I might have to delete some shit from the registry or the game folder just to make the deck save, which in turn might fuck up my decks in a different game because I did that earlier today and my Joey deck got replaced with the Kaiba deck and I had none of the cards from Joey and we don't want that. It will be bad. With that said, we've been beating around the bush long enough. Let's let's start him off slow so you can, you can hear some of this uh, interaction stuff that we got going on. I wonder how strong your deck is. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'll use all my skills to defeat you, no matter how many powerful cards you have in your deck. Hi, Dan Green, you hear about Cash through a Unicorn? We're gonna kick off Kaiba. If you even think for a second you're going to win, you're lying to yourself. He looks so fucking dopey in this portrait. Yo, look at that, he's Japanese, that's how you know he's all cyberpunk. Remember how much people used to mod these games? Yeah, these are kind of like the Tenkaichi tree of Yu-Gi-Oh. You'll see a lot of Latin American uploaded videos on YouTube with these games just modded to hell and back. Yeah, Joey is automatically on level 3 difficulty because I imported the full card set. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem for us, but let's see. Listen up! A true duelist doesn't back up from nobody, cause only cowards don't stand up to a challenge. You better come strong, cause it's time to do. Oh, come strong, Joey! I can't wait. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna do a scissors here, rock here. Good old rock, never fails. Fuck, and paper here. I'm just gonna go second in each of these. What are we listening to first? Let's let's check out. Uh, let's check out what's going on in Yugi's neck of the woods. Dragon Zombie. I'll set a card. Set I one. Pass. Classic turn. Everybody knows that's Yugi's most popular, famous number one play. And it's working. I don't have anything to deal with that. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. You know, having to play with this mishmash. I, that'll be uh, that'll be Silver Fang set pass from me. And praying to the gods. Kaiba summoned Lajin. Kinda sad, I wasn't mousing over this one so I can hear him say LAJIN, THE MYSTICAL GENIE OF THE LAMP! We're gonna take it slow, we're gonna do... Your foe turtle, summon something from the deck hopefully. And uh... I don't know why this runs fake trap, it's kind of useless for me, but... We'll set it, regardless. I could have run over him, but... You never know what this dude's gonna... Play next turn, like to be safe. And here I'm just gonna lead with Zambira the Dark because uh, that's kind of playmaker in this. That was a good choice, that was a lot of defense for a game like this. 
Love Zumbira, so cool. Uh, do you wish to special summon monster to the field? Why, yes, I would love to. I would love to? I would love to. What? D what? UFO Turtle! No one's ever been able to summon him! Polymerization for what? Oh, Metal Dragon. I love the artwork on Metal Dragon. That is just a stock photo of a sky. I hope they never reprint that and change the background. Can you imagine if they got... Can you imagine if somebody came out at them like, Hey, I took that photo. You're not allowed to use that. Sues them for millions of trillions of billions of dollars. So this is how we do it here, okay? Summon Time Wizard. What are we doing, chat? Heads, tails, heads, tails. Can you make polls on Twitch? I don't know how to if you can. I'm getting my ass beat over here, by the way. I'm getting my ass beat by Maneater Bug. How embarrassing. Tails, tails. Heads always. Reds, tails. Ever it seems to be majority tails, so... What actually is tails here? I'm gonna assume this, because it's second. Nice one, chat! Banyan. That's how you play against Kaiba. Never let him know your next move. Thanks. Love when Kaiba validates me. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! I love whenever he does that. Gets hit for like a minuscule amount of damage. <coughs> What's going on here? What are we doing? Fairy's gift. Um, return to sender. <laughs> Joy just starts crying. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot Zombier can't attack directly. Oh my god, I haven't used this card in ages. I forget that. AI is the on not the only one that can't read. Oh, cool, D spell. Exactly what I needed. I love when they get uh, upset by, like, a nondescript uh, card. Oh, it's a spell card? What, a trap card? No, a monster? It's like, they're afraid of the concept. Of a card type. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. Is he gonna play? Okay, I was I was thinking he's gonna play two pronged attack on the witty phantom. All right, Yugi's gonna beat my ass here. What are we doing here? King of Yami Makai with Stimpak. That would be pretty rad. But I think I should save it up still. Cause come on, how can I not stop my brain soldier? Gamma. That's a gamma male. Attack him with gamma waves. And send him to the Gamma Yard. I forgot Zambira the Dark can't attack directly again. I just wanted to say attack him with Gamma Waves. Is that too much? Ah! My savior! Okay, we should be able to stall for about 20 turns. Till we join to summon Skull. Rather, that's twice you forgot. Sorry, I'm not in quite the most conventional uh, Yu-Gi-Oh playing setup right now. It makes me... Uh, forget things. That was a good uh, I disagree. Rather bad attack. If it was a good attack, that elf would have died. Oh, 1600 attack. Okay, we're getting back in there. Could have summoned on Satsu over Mystical Elf, but I feel like that would be a waste. Just gonna... The man eat a bug. I know that's two-pronged attack. I feel like the AI was able to panic. It would have activated that to get rid of that Mystical Elf by now, but... Yeah, let's not fuck up again here. Let me end this turn. Let me end this turn. Oh, what's going on here? This card. I offer a monster on my field as a tribute. I summon Curse of Dragon. Oh. I That's sad. Defense position. I switch it to defense position. You can make a mixtape out of that. Yeah, that said, you uh tribute. Oh. Never mind, I forgot I didn't have enough life points to survive that. I was gonna say, it's it's sad that uh, I tributed and still couldn't run it over, but Womp Womp. Did you know Yugi has Exodia in this? We could get Exodia at any moment, even if we're winning. Well, there you go, I will never be the king of games. You may be disappointed, but realize that all decks have a chance to win. Not this one. As long as you never give up, your opportunity for victory will arrive. I like their personalities coming out of this, because Yugi's always really supportive and confident. Kaiba's just taking the piss out of you and you enjoy his being a bro. It's neat. Ah oh, shit, Lajin. I gotta bring out my secret weapon. King of Yamimakai. 
Okay, no response, that's good, thank god. Hmm... Do I hit it with a, uh, Some equips? I am concerned. No, he could... he could summon a... A beater over that tribute. So I don't want that to happen. Just making sure. Oh god, Solemn Wishes. Joey has a deck in this that is just life point gain stall. It is the worst. Okay, I won't forget about Zambira this time. Yeah, he uses Solemn Wishes, Kiseitai, a bunch of other crap. It's extremely annoying and tedious to play against. You won't lose, but you won't win for a while. He's been like goofy, but uh, that that face they they put on when he takes a lot of damage is just mortifying. Maybe I should have changed of heart to that thing. So, all right, I would have forgotten that Zambir of the Dark can't attack directly. So thank God I didn't do that. Do I try and Trune that Solemn Wishes? Sure, might be the first time anybody has ever done this for a duel. Yeah, holy cannoli! What do we got? Okay, okay. Sort of Dark Destruction. That I can't equip onto anything. I don't think we're turning any tables around today. I don't think we're gonna become King of Games is all I'm saying. Oh! Oh, I kinda wanna summon this cause... I mean, it's busted later, how can I not? And I'm gonna do it in the nastiest way possible, then use HIS monster! To summon one of my favorite monsters. Oh shit, it's Biomage. It's got the effect that when it's tributed to summon Buster Blader, you will lose the duel. You're gonna tribute summon? Yeah, but it makes you mad, doesn't it? Good, channel that anger. You're gonna need it. Yeah! Sure wish any of these monsters was dark. Although with my luck, it would probably have 1000 attacks, so I couldn't do anything. Even with a sword. What's going on in here? Right, I attacked. I forgot to end the turn here. Maybe I should just play turn by turn instead of switching between windows at will. The stream is still pretty sane as far as uh, things go. What do we get? I'm never gonna use that shit. What a waste of my time. Get out of here. Ah, man, I got totally whooped. But I'm never gonna quit as long as I got my whole future ahead of me. So inspirational. Loses one duel. I got my whole life ahead of me, it's not the end yet! We would whoop past the master duel. When attacked by your opponent's monster, select one of your monster cards and designate it as a death target and calculate damage. The AI, AI can't read, this might be a decent card, but it also doesn't tend to summon things in attack position while you have things that can beat over them. Also I have uh, Kaiba cards in here, I can just replace shitty beaters with better ones. What do I got? Yeah, I, I'm i gonna get rid of that 2 tribute, 2000 attack monster and put in that Kazajin, thank you very much, fucking slot machine. Can I get attack, maybe? Well, yeah, chain destruction is kind of ass. Prevent rats pretty alright for defense. This, these 1200 beaters kind of do nothing for me, I'm just gonna do prevent rat because defense is kind of important early game here. Uh... Also, let me tin my deck out a little bit. 42? What kind of number is that? The meaning of life. I don't think I'll need Backup Soldier. I'm gonna regret this when I need Backup Soldier, but... I don't really need Nimble Momonga in a deck where I only have one. It's a great card when you have three of them, but... One is, like, nothing. Maybe some equips. Yeah, Sword of Deep Seated, definitely. Very cool. Alligator Sword Dragon. This is such a stupid effect. You can attack directly if the opponent controls only earth, water, or fire monsters. Do you remember a Joey deck in September? Yeah, I'm not gonna be fusing that garbage. So, sort of deep seated. But I'm gonna live in a time wizard and a thousand dragon. Now we're talking. Uh, we should probably try and wrap up this duel sometime this week. He's literally- right now he's literally that Wojak with the crying face behind a smug mask. 
<laughs> so you're activating a spell card. Guess I'll consneed. I guess I'm gonna have to consneed that match. Uh, I joke uh, around a lot, but it is... <laughs> it is cool what they did with the whole uh, voice acting and like cut in fortress and whatnot. But it it's funny when there's just a portrait that's lightly opening his mouth while Kai was going, Oh my god, my spleen! Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, because I didn't end the turn. Yeah, whatever, broski. I'm so sick of this. So, you're activating a spell card. I am. So, you're taking control of my monster. I needed that. Oh, fuck. That would have actually been a problem. This uh, giant germ is a stall card incarnate. Oh, it's so satisfying. He just looks like he lost his will to live, not a duel. Then again, it's Kaiba, so it makes sense. Flip it. Oh, that's pretty good in this game, actually. It's like the fiendish chain of 2000. Drill this into your head. You're I'm gonna drill into your head with a power drill. Because you had the luck of the draw. Oh my god, he's blaming me on luck sacking. Let me just cram that into this deck real quick. Yeah. Take out the fake trap. Whoever used that for anything. I also seem to have a few joy cards in here. I don't know how that works. Well, instead of MST, I think we're gonna do well with our piece. Sangin. In place of uh, this, because I ain't fusing that garbage. To the Black Forest, absolutely. Now we're gaming! Maybe I won't win a single Yugi duel, so I won't have to bother with the game not saving my decks. Alright, Kaiba, if I win this one, please don't throw yourself off a building. Ah! The luck of the draw! My beloved! You're going to activate a spell card? Oh, yes! They should have given them special lines for reacting to Dark Hole specifically. THAT'S BULLSHIT! I don't know if there's some kind of rubber banding in these games. Occasionally it feels like it. That's why I always go second so that they can just react with shit. I summon alligator sword. Ah, the iconic Joey card. That was worth having a voice line in for. Well, I, I fuck around, I say, ah, iconic Joey card, tee hee, and then I can't run over it. That'll be Witch of the Black Forest set pass. Honestly, a solid play, all things considered. Yeah, I could have just taken that tribute for Flame Cerberus, but I'll wait. Very important to wait in these games. You're going to activate a spell card? I'm so sorry for taking the piss out of your Steel Order Grotto in that Jinzo video. You've saved my life. God, I just tribute some of the 1400. Where is my life gone? Oh, yeah, the G Gemini Elf. Yeah, uh, don't mind if I do. God, I, I love how just random, the, the strongest cards in early vanilla, like Caveman Yu Gi Oh! were. He had Gemini Elf, Mechanical Chaser, and whatnot. It's very, I mean, like, aesthetically. Why, did, why is Mechanical Chaser. For instance, a stronger card than Headless Knight or whatever. It looks so goofy. Man, I really gotta pop that card of safe return. He might FTK me. As funny as Time Wizard would be here. We're gonna do Time Wizard. Come on, chat. Which is it? We did Tails last time. We're doing it again. Sticking to the tried and true or. Eh, heads is for feds. And the feds won. Alright. Uh, next turn. Next turn, things will be just fine. That's uh, Mahavila with uh, 2550. And I can kill it. With a lot of effort, but I can kill it. He's so eternally impressed by that. Just did not expect you to activate a spell card. Huh, so you're entering your draw phase. 
I see you picking up a card from the top of your deck. Impressive. But it won't last you very long. He got that sort of deep-seated deck. Kind of shit myself here, so I'm gonna make sure. Yes, I am. Good job. You caught on to it, Kaiba. You can see why you're the master and I'm the student. This is pissing me off. Can I really not get a 1500 or a dark monster in here? Mutually assured destruction. Eat shit. Oh god, this guy fights with his bare hands. Gotta dispose of that before it becomes a problem. Oh, do I want to chain MST to my battle phase? Yes, absolutely. Oh, no. Alright, so he might do two tributes for red eyes or something. But that's why we kept that changer card. It was a set, it's probably like a... It's probably like a flip monster or a 2k defense. Up. Oh. Hey, nice! Uh, how, here's a taste of my own medicine for you. So. Did he just say, I don't think so, to like his own turn? Uh, that's not how you use Mahavailo. Could have whooped my ass there if you weren't stupid. Oh boy, share the pain. I could make this even funnier. Well, not now. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is very... It's very cool that you can just play real-ass Yu-Gi-Oh! on games this rudimentary, but it's also like... Uh, the AI is not polished at all. It is ridiculous. They, it has no fucking clue what it's doing. It is programmed to... It is programmed to play cards it has. Like, it feels like each card is programmed for it individually, as opposed to it reacting on the fly to the cards on the field. I don't know how to describe it, but like, it's very, uh, it's very mechanical. If there's a monster with more attack, then I will set a card. If there is a controlling monster in defense position that's weaker, I'm just gonna keep it there. Even if it has an effect, it might uh, do something. I'm not gonna do it. Very strange. It's like every other Yu-Gi-Oh game. No, they they're, they improved their their AI. Tag for special, uh, the PSP one from like 2016. Actually, had pretty damn good AI. Take that, share the pain. Uh, do I must have reborn anything? Nah, nah. That's me when I take damage, flapping my mouth up and going blah, blah, blah. Oh my god This deck's median attack is just 1200, no decimals uh, He can run over these cards with Giant Soldier of Stone, that guy has 1300 These have 1200 but this card is programmed to be in defense so he just doesn't And that's why he lost his M Warrior number one It's an iconic monster That was a good attack Thank you, I try. Anyway, I got two pronged attack if shit goes south. Just... Why would you just normal summon that in attack position? What's the plan here? Well, he's the king of games. Not me. Many world first plays happening here. Two pronged attack to get rid of a uh, giant soldier of stone. I studied... Studied seven years at uh, Dual Academy to make this play. So I'm actually... I, I really love what they did with the field spells here. Monster. What monsters? Very dramatic entrance for one of the most obnoxious cards in this game. Anyway, yeah, uh, this game has full field spell backgrounds. I mean, yeah, it is just a card stretched out or uh, flipped, whatever. But it's cool, it's uh, a little extra flair. Finally, Dark Monster, oh my god! Thanks for activating that. He knew I was gonna... I was, I was about to turn this around, so he gave me a little favor. Too bad all I can do is eat shit for three turns. What we got going on here? You know what? I'm just gonna hit a monster reborn. Speed this up. Wait, what is this? He hypes it up so much every time, and I'm afraid it will be Summon Skull. Which actually would be fucked up, but it's never summoned skull. Well, let's hope it continues not to be. This play has done me well in the past. Oh shit. Yeah, that was good. Battle Warrior would have really turned things around. Again, bare hands! 
No other cards I have can do that. Yeah! Alright, what do I get? I'm sure my Gradius will appreciate that. <laughs> he didn't retain his uh, zest for life after this one. Increases the attack of Gradius by 300 and inflicts piercing damage. I'm not fucking with that Gradius beatdown, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Alright, what do we got? Don't be a 2k defender, don't be a 2k- okay. Oh! Speaking- speak of the summon skull, I don't want him killing it. Just gonna set this for a while. Two more turns! Two turns pass, that's not how you spell pass. I activate my trap card. Uh oh. Sure. He's surprised by his own play! I know the feel though, I know the feel, I understand. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with a Raigeki or something. Or a four-piece Exodia. It's a classic combo. Also, uh... So you can choose between single duel and match duel. Match duel let you, lets you, like, do a best of three. And, uh, you can side deck and whatnot, and if you win, you win three cards instead of one, but also if you lose, you get nothing, so I'd rather not waste my time. We're gonna save that up for later in case we're eating shit. Alright, let's, let's, let's start making some plays. Hopefully... Hopefully we can become king of games today before uh, lunchtime. I did genuinely think when I was a kid... So, like, this is the Yugi game, where you play against Yugi. So if you win, you're, you're the king of games, right? Isn't that a little fucked up? Uh, no, by all means, bro, go ahead. It's Sangan, he's- he was born to die. Oh, oh no. Well, which of Black Forest would let me search Gemini L for a Zambira, but... God. You kids today don't know the satisfaction of flipping a penguin soldier back in the 2000s. Set this card here. Let me give you a little hint. You better be careful, because these cards are trapped. Uh, judge, uh, revealing uh, info, revealing uh, the info, uh, ir irreparable game state. Hey. Don't think that was legal what he did there. I genuinely love the the visuals oh, of this stuff. field, like <laughs> the field drawn with chalk, the bricks on the sides. The fences here for the phase selection, kind of scratchy graffiti for life points, it's oh, beautiful. I like how these games look and sound for what they are. Also, very good choice to go for Pigment Soldier there, because we just drew into the Playmaker. Yeah, you put your field spell on cinder blocks. If Master Duel was a good game, they would import these these themes for you to use. Hit it, fake bird! With leap of fate! God, just turns into his obituary when he loses there. Uh, Dark Magician, huh? Watch me never summon that. Kuwagata Alpha! Don't remind me of King Goja, I don't want to think about King Goja. This is impossible! How can an amateur take me down? God, I remember his intonation on that to a T. How can an amateur take me down? All right, King of Games. Yugi really takes it with dignity. I really wish I'd saved the replay data from my first, from my practice duel with Yugi because he hit me with an Exodia the turn before I was about to win. Hopefully that happens at least once tonight. Eh, yes, I can't ask for more. This game has like a. A card pool of like a hundred and fifty cards. I'm proud of you. Your skills have greatly improved. I can see that you'll make an excellent duelist. My skills involve waiting for Swords of Revealing Light to pass. So here's a problem with the Yugi game. Try putting a card in your deck. Oh, where's the card? 
It's back in the trunk? That's a problem. So we'll go on a little adventure to fix that. Let me just finish this duel also while we're here. It shouldn't take too long. He's kind of open miserably, so... In the meantime... Up! Oh! What? Okay, don't think I've ever been hit with that in my life, but... First time for everything here. Select two monster card attributes. Your opponent then selects one of the two attributes and destroy it. So I gotta select which monster blows up. Alright. LB water, sorry sea snake. Got less attack. Natural selection got the better of you. There, there was a card in this game. Uh, prohibition. When you use Prohibition in Joy the Passion, uh, it basically it lets you pick what type of card you want to forbid, and then shows you a list of all cards of that type. And I use that as basically a, a wikia to, to see every kind of card there ever was. Oh shit! It's it's Shangri-La. Have you seen the new Castlevania? I've dropped it. I dropped it three episodes in. Fucked up thing is, uh, I would have been interested to to watch something like that if it wasn't. Pretending to be an adaptation of Rondo of Blood, but if you're just gonna make a show that has absolutely nothing to fucking do with the property you're adapting, like, I don't really care. Came for Rondo, not for like weird uh, French Revolution vampire fantasy fanfiction. Worried about Devil May Cry. All all we've seen is just Dante, but I'm already a little cautious because he, his face is weird. He looks just a little. Too unhinged. He looks like a psycho. He's supposed to be just a little cooler. I don't know why his face has that weird edginess to it. Doesn't really look like any Dante I, I recognize. What? Why? <laughs> so much pomp and circumstance for Panther Warrior. Anyway. I win. Yeah, he has an animation for Panther Warrior. For a bunch of garbage, actually. Mostly stuff he used in the show. Let's see what we got for this. Sure. I'll take another one of those. One more match. I know I can beat you this time. I'll give you about 10 more. Anyway, uh, this is a problem with unlocking cards in this game. Uh, you just get a card out of a random pool of, of 300 something cards. And eventually they're, you're gonna start getting duplicates. And there is no way to control or influence this or do anything. You just play the game and you will get cards. That's it. That's why I don't think I know any kid back then that managed to fill out the entire thing. So, uh, Yugi Destiny problem. Dex don't save. So we're gonna have to fix this. But yeah, right, I was talking about how no kid filled out the full card compendium. Because of this, we had playground rumors Specifically, um, if you if you get all cards in Yugi, uh, you'll get Slifer. If you get all the cards in Kaiba, you'll get Obelisk. If you get all the cards in Joey, you'll get Ra. Doesn't really make sense to get Ra out of Joey, but uh, you no, know, that was back in the day when we still had God. Uh, when we still thought God cards were just a, a real thing that's feasible to exist and play in a Yu-Gi-Oh match. So I, specifically, perpetuated this one rumor after hearing all those, saying, Oh yeah, uh, the, uh, I, was, I, was, I was at a friend's house, and I was, I was playing Joy the Passion, he had almost had all the cards, and suddenly when I, when I went to play single duel, Merrick showed up! Yeah. And I had to play against Merrick, and he kicked my butt. And uh, he never showed up again. I was like, wow, what the heck? And uh, I looked at the box for the game that my friend had, and it said, uh, on the back, it said, Possib possible side effects might, ha might happen while playing the game. 
And that's how I explain Merrick showing up, it's a side effect of playing the game. I'm gonna try and fix this Yugi thing without breaking all the other games. Uh, meanwhile, check out my desktop Toa. Where is he? Right. Is that not the coolest thing you've seen in your life? There's more. So this one just runs around your screen the entire time. And it, to get him off, you have to like click twice really fast, but the problem is he keeps escaping your cursor. You see how fucked this is? And I'm just imagining the funniest scenario where like some kid had this stupid thing installed on his computer where his parents work and his his dad is just like trying to open a word document but this thing is running around making motor noises around the computer the whole time and he's just clicking at it cussing every fucking thing on earth Get this fucking thing off the screen! Bobby! Get this stupid shit off the screen! Can't do it, can't catch it. You know, it can close behind the taskbar that's fucked up. It's the hardest video game enemy I've ever had to face. Stop! Okay, think I, I don't know what I did, but it stopped. Let's 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 uh get the fuck out of here. Uh so we're gonna hit up the Yugi the Destiny folder. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. So we have the game open. I saw a guy do this in a two-paced ad once. We're gonna put the card if we want. To. Actually, let me see what this does. Destroy one spell card in the field. Okay, this might be good for uh, removing Swords of Revealing Light, actually. What I replace? <sighs> Fuck all these 1200 beaters, man. What, what do I need this for? So what you do is... Take the system file out of the, this folder, okay? You go back. Bam, the deck is saved. It recreates the system file with the deck you're using right now. Now, please, don't let this have fucked up my other... Okay, okay, we're in. We're doing it. We gangsta. This is some real hacker shit. Hold up, I need Kaiba music for this. Plum. Yeah, that's me when I hacked a system. All right, uh, we've hacked the system. We're in the mainframe. We fucking their pussies. Still have space on the screen. <laughs> True. I saw some people uh, wanted me to open a hero video script. I think I put it somewhere in here. Hold up. Yeah, it's in uh, it's it's in one of these folders, I think. I mean, I don't mind showing it off, I just gotta find it. It's like somewhere around here. Uh, might be in here? I'm not sure. Kinda displaced it, I think. Oh, where is That's not it. Oh well, back to the destiny and the revenge and the passion. Why is it even called Kaiba the Revenge? I guess they just wanted an edgy word for Kaiba, but couldn't think of anything. Like, when was Kaiba taking revenge? I guess I guess he's taking revenge on Yugi for you know losing that duel, but who knows? They should make Crowler the Revenge. Yeah, let's come up with some fucking new Power of Chaos games. Jim Crocodile Cook, the Outback ste Steakhouse. A little wordy, but it's pretty cool. Oh god, Mr. Clown. This is one of the freakiest cards in the game. Just I can't zoom in on the art here, but just look it up and try to figure out what's going on with its head. Nothing can stop 
the mad attack of this powerful creature. Nothing can stop the panic attack I get from this creature. Just getting my ass whooped by defenders today. Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos. Yuri the War Crimes. Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos. Crow the Bird Shit. Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos. Cyrus the Insult. Alright, this is a very complex hand I've got going on here in the... Do I waste this to... Get our Mystic Horseman? Dragon Seeker is such a stupid card, it just blows up a dragon when it's summoned. But it is a very essentially anti kyber card in case uh, he ends up landing on blue eyes. So. Uh, let's stop him from doing that in the first place. Yu Gi Oh! Power of, power of Chaos! Shark the Snark! Opponent summoned a monster! Sure did. Don't like that, so. Could you please remove it from the field? Do you guys know it doesn't say anywhere in the rules that you can't just calmly ask the opponent to put the monster back? It does say that if you do ask them that, they have to uh, they have to do it. So, if you don't like the monster, just tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Night Shroud the Who, that's pretty good. Okay, that Harpy's Feather Duster will be good right now, unless he's playing artifacts, you never know. So what's it gonna be? You know, I re okay. That's a cool card, but it's kind of something you should uh, play when a monster in attack position is getting attacked. You know, that, that fizzles at the end of the turn. Okay, I guess he just really likes Swordsman of Landstar. By the way, I really love how Swordsman of Landstar looks, and I wish they had printed more of these guys, or maybe an archetype. Very cute little funny... 90s RPG guys, big old blobby heads. Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos! Yanagi the Prison! You know, I'm not giving them enough credit, these are pretty good names. Listen to the shit I'm coming up with. What is this? I swear to god if it's just Curse of Dragon again. CURSE OF DRAGON! Doesn't really work when you enunciate something that hard and then it can't run over giant soldier of stone, man. What's your guy's favorite big defender? For me, it's either Stone Statue of the Aztecs or, uh... Freaking, what was his name? Destiny Hero Defender. What was the name of that Destiny Hero Defender? Aqua Madur Gang, that's pretty good. Select two monster card attributes, zero points. I thought you had to select two monster card attributes among monsters that are on the field. Not just... Any two. Okay, that the card is a lot better now, actually. Shit, that's a problem. Alright, outplayed, I guess. Took out his own guy too, but it was pretty good. Debris Dragon does have 2,000 defense. I never used it for that, but yeah, it sure does. Okay, uh... Curse of Dragon, what do we do here, gang? One of the strongest monsters ever printed. That's nice, Joey. Anyway... I'm just gonna, just gonna align that a little different. Put that diagonal side down. A lot of removal and boosting here is just... What are your secrets, Skyba? Show them to me. What is a Vorse anyway? Summon Horse Raider! Divorce Raider! Oh shit, I'm getting Vorsed here. Oh, he's forcing me to pick a monster from my deck. And not import a Gemini Elf from Joy, maybe I should have done that if I can. Why isn't that my old good pal old friend Time Wizard? Nah, I'm not doing that. And I can just beat over this guy, I don't know why anyone looking at anything else. Giant Red Sea Snake. Some more damage on the field, please. What are these three set cards even? I don't think I've seen AI sit on three sets this long. It's just three fake traps, just in case! What if he tries to MST my MST? I need that thing! Borscht Raider. That hurt. Kaiba would never say that. Huh. If you think that hurts, wait until you see this. Snaps his own ankle just to show off. This is some high stakes dueling right here. Two duelists. One soldier of stone. One curse of dragon. One immensely bored audience. Now you can see why I'm streaming three at once, because if I was only streaming one, nothing would be happening. Oh yes. It. Warse Raider. 
Yo, chain! Lavalva, chain! Send my shit directly to the graveyard! That was a cool animation, it's pretty rare that he does that. When this monster is summoned, excluding special summon, that's psycho, dude. You can't put that on a card. Like, wow. Maybe today? Like, when this card is normal summoned? But not in the 2000s, like... If we, if you could do a special summon in two thousands, that that was special. That's why they call them special summons. Today, special summons is like it's like drinking water. Graveyards is like hands, and banished is like graveyards. How many people here are aware there are actually three summon methods? It's not just normal and special, there is one more. It's just, it is a mechanic that has been completely abandoned when it comes to mentioning it in, in effect text. It's flip, yes, it is flip. It's flip summon, specifically referring to while you have a face down defense position monster on your field, flipping it face up on your turn. By, not by effect, by just, by choice. That is a flip summon. It is a distinct hit thing from normal and special summon. And it is so slow and so fucking meaningless that they just have not referred to it. I, I, I'm pretty sure in years in effect text. Maybe for a monster specifically saying when this card is flip summoned, because that's like a specific effect, but a card usually says when this card is normal or special summoned, or just when this card is summoned. You will never see flip among those two. This flip summon is uh, is an artifact of the time. It's usually when this card is flipped face up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that uh, spirit, like level nine spirit monster says. I think it might be when this card is flip summoned, but I don't know. Oh my god! King of games, everybody. Okay, let's actually see what his back row is. Let's check the middle. Oh shit! What, what? What's happening? Oh my god, everybody's clowning on me at the same time. Jesus Christ! You got Blue Eyes, you got Exodia, and then Joey's gonna pull out his signature alligator sword! You need a lot of work to hone your dueling skills. Like how I top deck that Exodia piece. You see that? That was hype. What am I even... Looking for here. Whatever. I'm just gonna destroy that Blue Eyes with the Dragon Seeker next turn. That's the whole point of the card. There's something with big attack. 1400. That's a lot of attack. Right. What was the face down? It was Gamble. You can activate this card when your opponent's hand has six or more cards and your hand has two or less. Toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, draw until you have five cards. If you call it wrong, skip your next turn. Fuck! I wish I had given him a chance to activate that. That would have actually been really funny. But if you want to skip my turn, just play Pyro Clock of Destiny. That's how that card works. Everybody knows that. Yeah, get get on with it, Yugi. You can actually, if if you disable sound effects in this game, uh, you also disable dialogue. So their portraits just show up for a second and they disappear because they didn't want them to just be flapping their mouths, not saying anything. Worked for Tag Force. God, I hate the localization of those games. Because because it would be scary if we let the kitties know about the Japanese, so we just removed all the voice lines from the game, but we kept in the 3D models flapping their mouths. Doesn't look unnatural at all, it's fine, don't worry about it. Like, 1500 in this game is like... 4K in the in actual like modern Yu-Gi-Oh. What do I do about this? I need I need a removal effect. I need some some really complicated maneuver to get over this. That's it. Conversation. Metal Dragon. Metal Dragon can barely get over it. Oh my God! I can make Metal Dragon. Yes. <laughs> you know I didn't really consider the option given the. You know what? I can't even blame the fusion for not making sense. That's a steel guy and a dragon. Combine it, and what do you get? You get metal dragon. Taking the L on logic on this one. Fusion. What? Need an extra deck monster to get over the Mystic Clown. Worst format of all time? Question mark! Exclamation point! He's wide open right now. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in some, for some more damage. I'm gonna treat myself a little bit. Raigeki on Metal Dragon? Give me a break! No normal AI does that. Can't tell me there isn't some kind of rubber banding. What do you call rubber banding in a card game? Card of the cards! My grandpa always told me. Believe in ketchup logic. Shallow Grave, that's a... It's a great replacement for Monster Reborn. Don't let anybody tell me otherwise. Maybe I should have just waited until he activated a... Uh... So it's revealing light. Then again, it's good to know that that's what that is. I did, really didn't expect Yugi to be the one clowning on me the most tonight. I... Does, um... In my defense, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I don't know if Share the Pain... Uh, if Shallow Grave shows you what you... With the opponent summoned back, but um, if it does, I wasn't looking. He had other things in mind. Uh, great game. Put that shit back, thank you. Alright. <laughs> Can I drag over a card from my hand in one game to another? I wanna get that trap hole back in his hand. Would a judge object to that? Two pronged attack. I can't. I can't prong even one! Nothing stays in my field! Oh, God. Fire, just... I don't care, kill him. Oh, God. Sorry, guys, this duel's gonna last uh, one more hour or so. Because of the giant germ, you see. If I got... If I had an 1800 attack monster in this game, I would, like, be Pegasus tier. I'm actually surprised how well we've been doing against Joey, because he does have the strongest deck. Okay, the thing is, Yugi doesn't have a good deck. I just have an even worse one. Patrol Robo. In your standby phase, you can look at one face down card. It's been set by your opponent as long as this card remains face up on the field. And if. He's gonna activate that if it's relevant. And ignore the Patrol Robo. Maybe we should try some match tools, you know, raise the stakes a little bit. I'm not fucking with that, I'm just gonna get it off the field. If you're unhappy now, Maiden, wait, wait until you get mummified! Oh, that was actually a very good snipe, okay. I will get my revenge! He said it! He said it! I will get my Kaiba the revenge! Have you ever had to face down a field like this? I'm not even gonna give him the pleasure. That was an excellent duel. Yeah, I'm sure you would say that. To draw the right cards at the right time. Yeah, Regeki. Very skillful. Okay, to be fair, he wasn't bragging about skill. He literally admitted he luck sacked there. All right, uh, let's do a match duel in all three. <laughs> Great idea. Let's do I, I I thought like the screen was covered. I thought Kaiba said, "If you think you're going to win, you should kill yourself." And I gotta go first. Feeling confident about this one. Honestly, pretty good. Mystical Elf. Ooh, Mash Duel's got a different music. Oh yeah, they, they do have different music for Mash Duels. That's neat. Oh god, I love God, I love the Joey soundtrack. It is so funky. Fits the aesthetic perfectly. Again, I'm I'm surprised by the amount of effort I went into this game. I actually don't know who made it because it was only released in the West. But there are no credits or anything, it just says Konami Entertainment Japan at the intro splash screen, so... I don't know. I would like to have some info on that. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Goblin Attack Force is pretty good in this game. It's a good axe card and also a solid wall for turn one, so let's go with that. Kazujin, if I can keep two monsters in the field, we want this. Dun dang, dun dun, dun dang. Ding, dun, ding, dun. So nostalgic. Can almost can almost feel myself going to gamershell.com and downloading shitty demos for video games my computer can barely run. Hmm. No, I don't think so. God, he really loves that Earthshaker, huh? 
Okay, let's swing in for a fat 2300, hopefully. Uh, censored water omotics. Unfortunate. I was just... I was about to start slapping my shit crazy like this. Blackland Fire Dragon. I always found this card kind of funny because... That's a very cool name. Uh, do you know what this dark attribute dragon was called in the OCG? It's called Dark Dragon. Alright, fellas. This duel is mine. Some wacky shit going on at Joey's side of things, I noticed. Uh, we'll take care of that. Alright, hopefully he summons something he thinks will be able to get over it. And then he fucks up. <laughs> Maybe I should have attacked with uh, those two first, but... I hope you understand the excitement of summoning Kazajin uh, just washed over me. Yeah, okay, just just, just wasted on that. Maybe I should have summoned with a phantom or something. Should have been a little more careful. It's fine. We got this under control. Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely, actually. Curse of Dragon Hype, come on! Oh, that's a problem. Okay, we got Hane Hane, it's fine. For once, we actually drew some outs. And it is against the strongest monsters got in his deck. Now we just gotta win before he draws Exodia again. Uh, I could try Time Wizard, but the risk is too high, so I'm just gonna do a Prevent Rat, keep this in attack, just, you know, out of instinct. x raiders art is so funny, man. That, that helmet on his face takes up, like, his entire head. He cannot see out of that thing. Hopefully, because the AI is stupid, this uh, Goblin Attack Force survives the turn, and I can X... This is the card I've been waiting for. I offer my monster as a tribute. What is it? Ah, uh -huh. He's been waiting for Turtle Bird. I end my turn. Don't knock it till you try it. You can you can't say you haven't seen Turtle Bird text before. You don't know what he's planning, so uh, sit down. People hate to see an innovator succeed. Unfortunately, it wasn't totally birdy enough for the Turtle Bird Club, so we're gonna have to remove that from the field. Yeah, uh, take that back. Okay, hopefully this is not a, another 2k wall. Because that summon skull would come back and wreck my shit. This is my strongest monster. The level 5 has less attack than it. Man-eating treasure chest. Hopefully this is a man! Come on, man, 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 mates! Oh no! It's the man eating treasure chest eating man eater bug! Well, it makes sense in a duel of two man eaters, both perish. So many cards ate men in Yu Gi Oh back in the day. Kinda sexist. Why is Kaiba playing Baby Dragon? Could you have not built his deck a bit more faithfully? He's gonna summon a skull over it, if you will, next turn. And there's not much I can do. If I had a 1500, I would have crashed into it. Because I have to stop that skull from getting summoned. What a stupid name. Why they call it Summon Skull? I know he's not gonna summon this skull. Alright, I've still got this. So, next turn. Something. Yes! Don't judge me. This is how you play against Yugi. It's, it's a tug of war. A battle of attrition with the worst beaters known to man. I don't think we're gonna see Kaiba try and attack into Kazajin. Man, are you shitting me? Yeah, no. He cheats. He cheats. He sees you having fun and drops Regeki. That's how... That's how he's programmed. It's fine, I still got things under control. I'm complaining about this, but Forbidden Memory speedrunners suffer through this every single day of their lives. I'm taking this for granted. I'm actually running over things. It looked like Kaiba was saying it. <laughs> Can you stand my blue eyes, white dragon? It's a quirky uh, body swap episode they never did. This song kinda goes. I've been saying this. All the songs in these games kinda go. I can feel the game just breaking down in lag, trying to account for multiple card effects activating in the same turn. He has never seen this before. Which would rather be Ray or the Temperature? Yugi, your power of chaos. Ray the Temperature. Okay, Yugi's actually... Yugi actually seems to be 
slightly out of options for once. <laughs> Trap hole. Uh, me and my big mouth. Okay, it's fine. Attrition is still on my side, kind of. Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos, Guildford the Lightning. <laughs> I would play that. You know how Riot Forge is making different League video games based on uh, League heroes and aesthetics, but actually make th making the game fun unlike League? They should do that for Yu-Gi-Oh! There should be a Konami Forge, where they make real video games for a change, but based on Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and archetypes and shit. Give me the Gear Frid character action game. Based on equipping shit to it and it exploding in your uh, your DT as you turn into a uh, Gear Frid Unleashed or whatever his name was. Select one type of monster. Any monster with the selected type cannot attack. To keep this in effect, you must offer one monster in the field as a tribute during each of your standby phase. If you can cannot discard or destroy it, I don't think this one's gonna be a problem. The amount of potential spin off IPs in Yu Gi Oh is astonishing. Yeah, absolutely. Hell, again, I, I will take that Yu Gi Oh Muso I pitched. Can you imagine exploding hundreds of beaver warriors with one combo from Avermax? Feeling excited just thinking about it. The warriors can't attack, but I don't think he accounted for a, a beast warriors. Oh, this is a fiend? Okay, great. Maybe I should have had like a timer on that forces me to change the game every 10 seconds or so. I don't think I'd be able to think 20 minutes into the stream. I'm already having trouble though. Halfway tempted to hit that two-pronged attack, because God knows what this is, but let's check first. Gonna attack with the strongest monster, because you never know. Oh my God, I made the right choice, actually. Jesus Christ, ran over by 50. It's trying, the AI is trying to keep up. Like first time we beat Yugi, and it's like... It's not the first time, but first time in a while, and it's in a Magidol, so... Still got a long way to go. No, I don't want to activate Graceful Dice, I'm fine. I'm not fucking around, I'm just gonna run this over with Kazajin. Again, clever choice. So, uh, Gore's attack order doesn't really work in this game. You gotta hit them with the big ones first. Because you never know when a rat is gonna prevent. Uh, hold up, let me, let me do some side decking here. This is what we call a... Uh, so we call a smoke screen in the biz. You show them that you're side decking, and then you actually put back the cards that you side decked, and we call this the Hoban method. It's called mind games. And it's and it's perfectly legal. The rulebook doesn't say you can't do mind games anywhere. What do you think I'm playing? For this ground collapse the matter, like junk speeder turbo. Uh, yeah, now hit me with ground collapse in Ojama King, then we can talk. Solid hand, DBH. You're right, why isn't Sea Snake a sea serpent? Literally unplayable. You know what? We're going for style points. We've been getting our ass beat by Yugi too long, so let's go for some extra humiliation. Good effort, Yugi. You really tried to cheat the shit out of this one. Oh my god. Uh, Kaiba might have this one. I'm surprised they don't have a voice line for Pot of Greed. Okay. Uh, he didn't open much better, but... Oh my god, I'm gonna actually have to... So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna... Block attack. Gonna block attack the Winged Dragon Guardian of Fortress number 2. Why did they name it that? It's called Wyvern in the OCG. It's not that we don't have examples of them just fucking around these days, but localization in early Yu-Gi-Oh was really just them. They, they were taking so much piss. They should have been charged with larceny with how much piss they took. Yeah, whatever, some stupid card game for little kids. Just call it whatever. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if we named the card Mind Hacksaws? That's some goofy shit. Never been so scared of the number 2000 in my life. Alright, not much happened on his turn. Yeah, not, not sure why that jellyfish is in attack position. Oh shit, this fairy rules over the end of existence, but not over my dragon zombie with 1600 attack. 
probably just gonna crash into it. That's the name of the game in Yugi the Destiny, honestly. Because what else do you do? Power of Chaos Frog the Jam! You're going to activate a spell card? Look, man, I gotta do what I gotta do. If it takes a Monster Reborn for me to crash a 60, one 1600 into another, I'm doing it. I'm taking whatever I can get. This is survival mode Yu-Gi-Oh! It's actually... It's honestly kind of an interesting meta against Yugi here in the early game because you, your deck is so bad and he sacks so much. All right, Sea Snake's fine. Island Turtle's kind of a problem. Maybe a Kazujin next turn if we're lucky. What's it gonna be? It's not funny. Your computer might be at risk. Forget that, my duel is at, at risk. My life points are at risk. Oh cool, I can equip the Sword of Dark Destruction to his Feral Imp. And I activate the Seppuku card. Didn't see that one coming. And praying that I top deck Lesser Dragon so I can get my Metal Dragon Regeki again. Yo, I got two Kazujins going on at the same time! Ooh, that's a nasty one. What an insane card. Honestly, even for the time, how, how did they print this? Blow up the field, pack the hands, pack the field. It's just like a sudden death mode for one turn. If he summons imitation to a dark sleep, please show the little icon they made exclusively for it. Little icon? Is it like the monster targeted by its effect? That would be kind of cool. Maybe they thought the uh, the word sleep would catch on in uh, <laughs> in PSCT as a way to show a monster being like unable to attack. So many jars, so little time. And your charmer figures arrive. Oh no. Well, I did order things, which then I was told, uh, no, I'm sorry, we can't deliver to your country. Last thing I received was, oh god, it was like two years ago, I think, when it comes to figures, at least. I know, I, I really wanted that Kefla, and they told me, no, nah, sorry, we can't. I wanted that Alexis, nope, can't, sorry. I wanted this one cool helmet, nope, doesn't work. Montenegro is not a real country, sorry, bye. Gets a little bit on your nerves after a while. You replaced Lies of Pete, surprisingly good IMO. I am pretty far off into Lies of P, and I can confidently say a, a second non FromSoft Souls like that doesn't play like Sludge has hit the building. I won't say what the first one is, you'll make fun of me. Okay, so Kazujin over these two. No, let's not overextend. We're doing Zen dueling here. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do that. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna throw up. Not the Kazujin! That's fine, I got a monster reborn. Thanks for clearing out the way for me, by the way. Y yeah sure. For what? once. This is why you don't overextend. So that you can simply extend. I can win, I feel great, I can do this, ah! That's impossible. I'm feeling confident about this, let, let's just hit that <laughs> Dragon Seeker. With a stamp back. Wrench it up! Hello? Um. Oh, I said, uh. <laughs> so to respond, no, I would not like to blow up my, uh, stamp back. Thankfully, these games. These guys have a lot of problems, but bugs aren't one of them. They are functional. Okay, I'll take that, sure. I would like to top deck into a summon skull while I have one of these out for once. No, stop that. that MS Steen, negate that, negate that motherfucker's change of heart right now! <laughs> ah! I activate what? my spell card! Okay, I, I thought I thought this could target itself and that he was going to target itself and then it couldn't attack Which which sound absolutely sounded like something he would do, but I love the artwork on Malevolent Nuzzler Also as a kid I had no idea what uh, either of those words meant So the card was extra cool, you know, like Jinzo Malevolent Nuzzler on Jinzo None of these words are in the Bible I mean nice flex, but look what happens now. Yeah 
Yeah, I also thought uh, Gustav Max 2K on turn one was a good play when I was fucking stupid. Gore's order worked out for- I FORGOT SOME BEER THAT I CAN'T THINK- The fuck is an Omotics? Good question. The answer may surprise you. I end my turn. I just said it may surprise you, didn't say I, I knew what it was. It may also not surprise you, who knows. Okay, sure. And un tribute for Ansatsu, yeah. Nothing matters anymore. A tribute summon. I'll suck a dick for 1800 right now. Did we win this? Did we win this? Get three cards? I don't even care what he's summoning right now. Two of his monsters, hold up. I'm counting on you. I summon Dark Magician. Okay. Uh, silver lining, he cleared out his field. If we can get one piece of removal right now, we now, might a card. do something. Uh, came too late, Lesser Dragon. You should have hurried up, Lesser Dragon. You make me feel like a Lesser Dragon. We're gonna... We're gonna truck it out. I don't know what can happen. Maybe a dark hole. I know we have one here, right? Do we? I forgot. Maybe not even the dark hole could help. Actually, it's only a normal summon, so, you know... The moment I get something that lets me get two-pronged motherfucking attack out of my deck, I'll be so happy. Let me have some other duels in the meantime while I figure out what to do here. Alright, three new cards. In the game with the widest card pool, so this could be anything. From Archfiends to Terlaments. Whoop! Ah... Uh, karate, man. Sure, I'll, I'll put Bushido Brown in my deck. It's, it's just a worse goblin attack force in this context. Guess I can replace gross, gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. This one's not gross, I don't want gross cards in my deck. I don't have any pathetic 1200 beaters without additional functions. It's really generous of me to describe these two as additional functions for Baby Dragon, but there you go. Did I draw something? Did I not have two pronged attack before this? If I had another monster to summon, I could fuse these two and then two prong the Dark Magician, but... Uh, could flip this next turn and kill me, but... Fuck it, I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna try and truck this one out as long as I can. Oh shit, okay, now he's gonna possibly start using stronger decks. I lose this one, by the way. If I lose a match tool, I'm going back to single duels. Good. I hope he can feel pain through the screen. No, I don't want to save this. Why would you think I want to save this embarrassment? We move! Alright, what do we get on Kaiba? Uh, mm, oh. You gotta take your wins with, the, with your losses. I don't consider this a win. Listen, I do think Seiya Ryu is cool. I would just rather have... I would have rather gotten a functional card. No two tributes in here. Besides Kazajin. And Seiryu does have more attack, but... Again, functionally, Seiryu is uh, worse. Because there's no effect for uh, the opponent to misread on Seiryu. I misread, I mean, ignore completely. I thought I said cute mermaid, and I was gonna agree. Not cute enough, though. Oh, oh, I thought that said 1800, not 4800! Oh my god! Wow, he was- he felt really confident about this loadout, huh? I, I almost feel sorry for what's about to happen to him. Alright, 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 we're good. This is good. This is really good. We're gonna do a 1600 wall first and save up Hane Hane and change of heart with someone's skull in hand for, for when he starts fucking with me, which he will. It is a confirmed known thing that he will start fucking with me. Well, yes. Uh, no, actually. After battle. That will, that will be after battle. What? Can't be. I'll put that back. Oh, is this the heal deck? It might be. Look, he didn't flip up three solemn wishes, so... Who knows. I don't want to let him set up the field. The problem is he activated swords. 
I don't have any back row removal. Maybe I should just hit that change of heart on Summon Skull immediately? His removal is limited to Raigeki, I'm pretty sure. But I don't want to risk it. Mmm. Think about it, give me a moment. What do we got going on in Kaiba? Oh, Fata Ertel. Probably should have put that in defense. Who cares? I don't see what the point of this card is, honestly. This is gonna be a moment where there is totally a point to it. And I will regret my words and deeds. Well, that's the Regeki I was worried about. Yo, Sagi for 600. This duel is starting off to a rip roaring beginning. So, Goblin Attack Force is the better choice. But Karate Man is the funnier choice, so. The Saggy Dark Clown. It's just the gate attack, bro, relax. Didn't activate last turn. The most intense match in tonight the history of tonight is going on here, so shouldn't fuck around. Honestly, actually tempted to do us <laughs> Thankfully my deck is horseshit, so this didn't do anything yet, but it's 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 about us. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine, it's fine. It doesn't check cards in the field, I can just do this. Uh, shit, it still can't get over it. Okay, hold up. It's actually completely normal to monster reborn your fate bird to equip it with a stim pack. I'll cause a brand new form of bird flu never seen before, but I gotta win the duel somehow. I'm beating out COVID with bird flu, baby! We're going full 2000s mode now. Never saw a follow up, how was Burger King? Bad. We've had that in the country for a year now, we've went to it three times, each time thinking Maybe it won't be so bad this time, it was that bad every time Right, almost tempted to do Ansatsu over this just in case he removes it Just in case I get hit with a Regeki and I don't want to lose Summon Skull Ah! So stupid Hate this game I activate my handy dandy kunai with chain <laughs> My monster's attack points <laughs> increased by 500 points Jolie's inflection on Kuna would chain. It's got almost a almost an ASMR quality to it. All right, well this monster's gone. This isn't a life point stall deck. This is more like a cure mermaid beatdown. I'm not in an enviable position right now, but it's not unsalvageable. Back to these prongs here. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh progression series. Surprisingly manageable uh, game state on Yugi's side right now compared to how it can usually be. Next turn you fucking die, you hear me? Lordy. Uh, I think we're gonna do a real quick repeat of the first turn. Is it gonna be Dark Magician? I'm gonna do the funniest thing of all time right now. This is- this play has been building up to for six turns. Yeah, not so funny when I do it, is it? Can't be. Woo! Why did I say that? I'm pretending I'm excited. <laughs> Whoa, let's go! you never seen dueling like this! Are we doing it? Are we actually gonna get this one? I just jinxed myself, didn't I? I'm getting hit with a Link 5 next turn. That he pulls out of his trunk. I mean his deck trunk, I mean like he rolls up with a in a Ferrari. Pops the trunk open and just puts the cyber's arrival at Ignister on the field. How much money would it take for it to make a live twin video? I hope you understand that if I'm doing something like a live twin video, I wouldn't allow myself to make that just a normal video. That would require so much, so much production. It couldn't just be a video where I review live twins and make a couple jokes. I would need to show up the first minute of that video with a with a live 2D avatar. I can't just make normal videos anymore, I've hyped myself up too much. Oh my god, we actually did it. Uh, unless, of course, we get hit with a Kuribo. And then an Exodia. You never know what can happen. Holy shit! Three mechanical chasers, please! No. What? Oh god, I've wasted my life. What's a victory where you don't feel like you won, but you genuinely lost? Th this is the epitome of win game, feel nothing, lose game, day ruined. Hollow victory, that's the one. I don't even care to check deck construction right now. I'd rather, I'd rather it be deck destruction. I deserve a deck destruction for what happened here. Cherubin the Fire Knight. Like, how, how desperate do you have to be? 
Monster Dragon here on Thomas Soul. I, I won't have those cards for another 30 hours. Kurama. Kurama. Spikebot. I would have taken Spikebot. All increases and decreases to attack and defense are reversed for the turn in which this card is activated. This card has had one of the most insane, stupid uh, erratas. This is the current text on Reverse Trap. It, it's, it's just clarification for how it works, but it is so funny that all of this shit is in an effect text. Until the end phase, all effects that add or subtract attack or defense are, or defense are reversed. Additions now subtract, and subtractions now add instead. Multiplications and divisions, including halving and doubling, are not affected. Of course. You know, I could I could deduce that. It's obvious. It's it's really great how the fact that the the, the deck saving problem is not even relevant now because I'm not even getting cards I want to put in my deck. Bah I should have went for that other stem pack. Never underestimate a good stim pack. I wonder if it has any other cards but Cure Mermaid. Is there a is there a prank here called Cure Mermaid? I feel like there's gotta be. I feel like just hitting him with a giant tunade for no reason. Like he can just reset all these, but j just to slightly annoy him. <laughs> and well it would have prevented that. <coughs> well I'd rather that hit X Raider and not Kazujin, so it's a win in and of itself. Oh, what the hell? Where'd that come from? Fuck it, we ball. I've got time. Who knows what that is? That could be a Millennium Shield. I could... I, I, I could... Change of card, but it wouldn't have any purpose. Morphing is fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is what you call fucked on all fronts. Yugi's not yet, but... We'll see. Oh, that's a Banish icon. That's kinda neat. <laughs> Just put a... Put another Cinder Block there to mark the Banish zone. Oh, this is like a water deck? Okay, Mother Grizzly and an uh, Island Turtle. Shiikes. So Mother Grizzly floats into shit, and Island Turtle has just got a lot of defense. <sighs> yeah. Right, okay, here's... Here's Pro Dueling. This is the skills that got me to a duel with Kaiba. Asking chat for a coin toss selection. Alright. First time we did Tails, it worked out, then we did Tails again, didn't work out. What do we do this time? I wish there was a third option. Instead of Heads or Tails, it's like... Taint. Like, if the coin lands on the side, that's taint, and you win the duel. This <laughs> is fear and hunger! Ah, heads. Heads. Heads never fails. Check this out. Well, it has never failed before, because we never tried it. Yeah, I'm really feeling it now. Here's how I can still win. Equip Stimpak to the summon skull, and it gets poisoned! Because instead of milk for the calcium in its bones, it's receiving Gatorade. Not Gatorade. Mountainade. What's that drink called? Mountain Dew! <laughs> Mountainade? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know Gatorade is actually good. It just... You don't expect a drink with Gator in its name to be healthy? That's why I got it confused. I feel like only energy drinks should have Gator in the name, you know? Like, you won't find a beautiful, nice herbal tea called HIPPO POWER! At this point, I'll take a 4-star Ladybug of Doom if it, it'll kill every level 4, 2,000 defense piece of shit. Aha! Yeah. It's called Gatorade because it was originally invented to help the Florida Gators win the NCAA College Football Championship in the 60s. But now it just aids real alligators. It's beautiful how language evolves. Stop! See, I didn't try and trune that because he could just reset it and then what's the point? You can shift an opponent's monster in attack position to defense position. I like that. Shift. They need to bring back that word in effect text. I'm running out of small, fun, compact archetypes to review. All that's left is... is shit with like dozens of years of history and like 60 plus cards and it's getting very difficult. Or shit is just boring. Has the same effects over and over. I know people are just gonna start recommending archetypes. Don't worry, I've looked over them many times. No! Bah! That jump scared me. Maybe I should have checked with checked it with a D spell. Bah! Trap hole. Imagine Yugi jumping you in the woods and you fall into an actual trap hole. You ain't from Brooklyn if you've never done this. Uh. Said Joey before setting a time wizard face down. Vorrock video. 
Don't speak with the devil. It gives him power. How about Teller Knights? I just said I'm not gonna do boring shit. <laughs> when this card is summoned, Bibbidi Boo. When this card is summoned, Bobbidi B. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do there. Unfortunately, I've calculated your turn ahead of time and set my fifth dark hole. Trap hole. Fuck, it doesn't matter anymore. Might as well be a dark hole. I've been losing my entire field every turn. You literally hit me with the INTJ stare. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've predicted this before the duel even started. What if you upload a worm video and change but again? I've been pitching the idea to myself of uh, HD remakes of Legacy of the Worthless episodes. <laughs> but I don't know what the point of that would be. Just like slight better timed jokes, slightly better editing, no microphone buzzing in the background. <laughs> That's it. I know people would watch that, but... Uh... It sounds more like an April Fool's joke rather than a real video. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a Star Wars new edition. Worm kind of needs a redo. Not really. It's just I wanted a lead-in to the Ally of Justice video, so I did Worms. I over-dramatized how bad that video was, because it wasn't bad bad. It was just me ignoring how good they were. Their bad cards are still bad. Parrot Dragon. Just be putting anything in this card in this card game these days. Remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was good? We had view kitchen power. Oh, that revival gem is kind of a problem, honestly. It's gotta work this time, right? Endless trash. It's fifties. Fifties make the difference in this. It's like Dinomorphia. Or evil storms. I didn't do Dark Magician. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Uh, Dark Magician it has been a thing I've been thinking of doing. However, I don't think you'll ever see that one because... So what I like to review the most are things that, uh, that started out a week weird and esoteric with uh, strange DM and GX early support and then just kind of became semi-normal decks as uh, car design evolved and they started figuring out things like consistency, removal, protection and whatnot. And I like when there's a, an even spread of those eras in an archetype. Something like Harpies is the perfect example. Dark Magician is 10% interesting goofy stuff from early on and 90% boring, wordy bullshit from 2016 and onwards. Which makes me not care, straight up not give a shit to talk about Dark Magician. Maybe Gravekeepers? Maybe? They also have like a lot of modern support which is just normal. I'll see. Nice move, but that's the last move you'll ever make! Jesus Christ, is he gonna kill me?! Last move you'll ever make. This game is scary. Alright. Last move I'll ever make this turn, I guess. Kind of getting exhausted. I think I... I don't want to wrap it up before hour three of this, but this is... Mind-numbing. It's Kaiba, so he might kill you. No, he might kill himself before me. Yeah, keep reducing your life points for me. I really appreciate it. His deck is actually 35 trap holes. And one curse of a dragon. And four, uh, four miscellaneous cards. Your opponent succeeded in special summoning a monster. Let's give it up for Yugi! Joey! I'm... I'm losing it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Where am I? Who am I playing against? What game is this? Alright, it's gotta work this time. It's gotta. No, I don't... No, I don't want to change the racial tribute. You know what? This is fine, actually. If Time Wizard fucks up... Maybe he summons something next turn and I hit a Torrential Tribute, okay. Now I'm just sick of the Revival Jams. There's nothing on, on this field that I can't get rid of, but... I, I live for the... for the thrill of the game. You consider making another Legacy of the Worthless. I stopped Legacy of the Worthless for, because there were no Worthless decks to make videos on, and there still aren't. People seem to not realize this. Besides, uh, the Earthbound video was another Legacy of the Worthless, kind of. Alright. Uh, what do we decide on? Tails or fails? Heads or dreads? Sonic household, go tails. You know what, yeah, let's do tails, we're celebrating the new Frontiers update. And if it fails, then the update was shit. There we go, okay, good update confirmed, can't wait to check that out. 
Uh, can we go in for the kill here? It's sort of deep seated, so that's 2900, 3900, 48. We can. Be sure we don't even need a sword, but just to make sure, because I can't recalculate that. Put it on Time Wizard. Imagine him dragging that little, like, big sword around with his tiny Time Wizard body. Man, when we were kids, we were actually, like, having debates how does Time Wizard work in the game, because we only saw the anime, where the effect works by him putting that clock up and spinning it. And my, my friend suggested, card probably comes with a clock printed on the back, with clock hands that you can spin around, so you just, you know, spin them. And uh, wherever it lands, you just activate that effect. So... He was correct! And Arcana Force works by you putting a finger on top of the- in the middle of the card and twirling it with your other hand. Alright, for my- for my side decking phase, I'm gonna put Thousand Dragon in the main deck. And get disqualified. I'm actually getting tired. Review Konami, just in general. I was thinking when I started doing video games that I might take a peep at some old Konami stuff, like the uh, Goemon series. Goemon's pretty cool. Contra, god. Contra Shattered Soldier is so good. God, he put some stank on that trap. I activate my trap! Sounds so hateful when he does it. Sana Seldlich player. Okay, remember, can't attack directly. But embarrass yourself again. God, I love how the field spell background is scratchy like they drew it on. This is so much soul for a game where you wouldn't expect any. Come on, trap hole. Yes! Oh, even better! He became king of games by mastering the usage of exactly two trap cards. I think he has, like, the exact same deck as me, except he also has Curse of Dragon and Exodia in it. The Lynchpins! Oh, why didn't I? I should have. Nah, shouldn't have. Oh! My pride and soul as a Maga Tamashi! I summon my almighty blue eyes! Blue eyes! <laughs> White to do that all! Yeah, joke's on you. You can't change your battle positions this turn, bozo. Oh, he's hitting me with the techno. They really thought not being able to change battle position was gonna be big. Like, so many of these old quote unquote stun cards are just can't attack, that's fine, but also can change battle position. Oh, jeez. Like, a lot of monsters had immunity to, like, uh, changing battle positions or changing control. Because, uh, taking over control and changing battle positions was something that a lot of decks did. A lot of cards get access to, I mean. Do we hit him with the chop? I wanna see what this looks like visually. I'm gonna bide my time. I'm actually not very threatened by this blue eyes because this deck has removal and has ways of dealing with shit like this. Unlike unlike this this deck right here, it's got some problems. It's got trouble dealing with. Right, not a fan of the Regeki, uh, still Sangen goes off, that's good. Not so much power of chaos as it is power of time wizard. Oh! Awfully smug for somebody who's uh, about to get his blue eyes wrecked. Does he know? No, he doesn't. He can't read. That's why they're always so surprised. I love whenever in the anime they they run into a an effect of a monster or a card that was already face up, and it completely screw, screw, screws them over. And the entire logic could be kind of that is they they didn't read it. The opponent usually explains it with, like, it's got another effect. Yeah, could you have seen that? No, couldn't be bothered. Sometimes they read cards, sometimes they don't. They usually don't read the opponent's cards. I mean, they put them in their dual disc, dual, dual disc which is way over there. Gonna walk up to it, pull the card out from the, from the zone where it's put in, read the effect. It's kind of rude, so yeah. No wonder they can't do that. Pretty sure there's only one instance of this, but... Somebody asks, how do you know that? And someone replies, uh, I read what it says on the card. And he pulls up a, the, the, <laughs> the four kids card art that doesn't have any text on it. And I'm thinking, they read? What did they read? Is it on the back of the card? Are the letters really small? Is it fine print? Uh, activate the effect of a card. Yeah. Change of heart into Ansatsu. This is uh, the old style of Gamasil. This is how we used to do it back in the day. Your grams would tell you about these plays. Wow, it's nothing. 
Time wizard beat down, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. I fused two of my monsters together. Fusion. Not even mad, that's cool, that's a cool I monster. Gaia, the dragon champion. This definitely warrants being retrained 58 times. Shouldn't have done that, I should have just hit it with the Hane Hane. Hane Hane, whatever. Frankly, I'm just happy to see a different monster. Giant Tornade is honestly discard fodder at this point. Like, what is the purpose of discard now? Magic Jammer? Oh my god. Are you serious? I would have rather seen the Legendary Fisherman. That would have actually been kind of hype, but... Can't have fun here. Pretty sure this is the uh, fifth time wizard for tonight. Just gonna close my eyes and let Destiny do it. Wasn't actually letting Destiny do it, I did this myself so I uh, deserve that. That little 250 damage always <laughs> makes me laugh. Just such a, a pathetic amount of damage for fucking up a coin toss. Like, pfft, most demoralizing in a way. So many time wizards. Not here though, I got Hane Hane. Oh my god, his hand is empty. And somehow he will manage to Exodia me this duel. Alligator sword. Nah, this is not gonna work. I lose this one. Playing this in Windows XP. Oh yes, one part for the aesthetic, uh, other part for... I'm pretty sure this would just not run on Windows 10. God, he's got a bad case of smoker's lung. You can hear it in his voice, it's really sad. The guy was eating so much shit in these duels, he had to resort to psychedelics. I SMOKE THIS! CRACK! So unnecessary! Just break my balls, why don't you? I wish I hadn't clicked away from that, I love the little jingle when you're losing Kaiba. Dun 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 Just a funeral march. Okay, we hit three hours, I'm just gonna wrap these up now. It'd be very poetic if I lost all of them. You've earned my respect as a duelist. Oh, he only starts giving a shit about you when he wins. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it fits, it works. I love this this UI, it's so cutesy. Small letters, these... It's, it's kind of skeuomorphic almost. Very XP. A very positive connotation. Not minimalist, but not over the top, just fits the aesthetic perfectly. And I really do think 2000s peaked when it comes to how video games looked, both aesthetically and technically in the sense that video games didn't really ever need to look better than like Silent Hill 3. I think that game looks perfect when it comes to 3D and character models and environments in a video game because everything since then we, we've been sliding into an uncanny valley which we still haven't really gotten out of. Like, this was a perfect era for video game visuals, I think. Alright, we need, we need to have two, du two wins against Yugi and one win against Joey. Of course he top deck Neo, of course. I would actually love if he top deck someone's skull now so I can get rid of it with this. Never mind. Oh, come on! How is he not bored of this? You know, I can actually just turn this off. <laughs> I'm gonna fit it a little better together there. There we go. Counting for your opponent's turn, none of your opponent's monsters can attack for three turns of his or her own. Uh, this was before they invented dares for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, by the way, Yu-Gi-Oh taught me Singular Day, and it's extremely useful, and I, well, I, I do remember as a kid learning that and thinking, wow, is that how that works? That's awesome, you don't have to cram in his slash her on everything. Handy, round, not roundabout way of doing things. Okay, so it's water beat down that he has some equips on, so... I mean, not much else I can do, just hitch it with Zombira. It'd be so funny if I lost all of these last three. This wasn't as insane as I expected, but it was still panic-inducing whenever I would finish a turn on one game, then look to another game and have to take in everything I gotta do in it. <laughs> okay, the one time... I use giant trunade here. God damn it. Let me have this. 
Did you ever hear what's a Serbian Yu-Gi-Oh dub attack name for Red Eyes Metal Dragon? No, what is it? They named it Baptism of Fire. Holy shit, that's awesome. We really just did get some better names over here. Are you telling me? Hold up. So that card's name was Metal Infernal Dragon. And its attack name was Baptism of Fire. No shit! The Christians got pissy about Yu-Gi-Oh in the Balkans. Can you imagine an orthodox mom hearing that on TV, on a cartoon that her kid is watching? She'd go ape shit. It's awesome. Yu-Gi-Oh is awesome. It's really good for a kid when their parents make them feel like their entertainment is evil. <laughs> it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm gonna take this away because it's evil. So, there's something in here they don't want me to see. I need to dig in deeper. You could tell me our culture was still burning witches up until 20 years ago and I would believe you. They did that 20 minutes ago outside my house. Holy crap, am I really not gonna have this? Why didn't I set that? I don't know, I'm just, I'm tired. It would have gotten blown up, why would I have set it anyway? Morphing Jar. Morph that guy's balls. You guys ever see the animation of Morphing Jar in the anime where he, like, extends out of the jar like a big evil snake? It's so freaky. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Are you... <laughs> Yugi! My king, my pharaoh. My temple calls for its pharaoh. Give me a break. You know that shit wasn't even trap hole before I summoned the card. He changed it. He pulled some bandit key shit. Alright. Only joy remaining. I have nothing left but joy wheeler. I'm lucky I was able to draw the right cards at the right time. If he could see my face right now, he, would, he wouldn't be smiling so much. He would feel threatened. What happened with Morphing Jar? It wasn't looking. Eh, probably not that important. <laughs> One of these days. Seven tools of the bandit, all I'm saying. He won't be giggling so hard. You weren't lucky, GameFAQs literally calls the game out for blatant cheating. <laughs> Makes me feel so good. <laughs> what did I just have in my graveyard? Huh. Okay, I might actually... Go of the Haunted on Zambira the Dark might be a good idea. Right. <laughs> With this, victories in the bay. I offer my monster as a tribute. For what? Alright, Amphibian Beast, okay. Hi. They noticed I got too cocky over the last couple of duels, so they all just rammed into me. There's a screenshot of Yugi's hand being like trap hole in DM, and then I remember suddenly five pieces of Exodia, I remember it vividly. Wow. Alright. I, I know respect play isn't in the game, like the card respect play, but I'm wondering if there are any cards in Yugi to let you see his hand or whatever so you can put that theory to a test. You hear? You ever hear the term overkill, Joey? Like, what was the point of that? If you if you had also hit it with Big Bang Blow, that would have been kind of impressive, but that was just annoying. Alright, no tributes yet. One of these days. Ceremonial Bell, maybe. Fuck, you mentioned that card, it reminded me how everyone I knew who played Joey the Passion, it, it, they had Ceremonial Bell in their deck, but me, with 98% completion, never got Ceremonial Bell. Just... Just wouldn't hit me. Blah. I've, I've never... I've never been praying this hard for... Uh, gadget Warrior, is that his name? No, Cannon Soldier. No, Cannon... Gadget Soldier? Gadget Soldier, no? Gadget... The guy with 1800 attack, 2000 defense, level 6. Big Machine Warrior guy. Right, the Wicked Dragon with your Saz head. That's the one. It is Gadget Soldier, yes. Thank you, chat. I'm going demented. Gadget man. Oh, thanks, Joey. That means so much to me. Hmm. You know what? It's, it's trying to distract me. Uh, your computer's at risk. You, you shouldn't do that. Uh, you should you should take you should pay attention to this instead. Don't 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 attack Joey with, with all that shit. Don't be rude. 
Mm. No. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. It still goes through, dumbass. It's the legendary fisherman. That's that's like the main thing about that card's effect. Attack go through. Also, you just empowered amphibian beast. Oh my god, this is not gonna be enough to kill. Oh my god, that's so close. Oh, it's actually making me mad. Okay, I got negate attack next turn. We we might turn this around, unironically, because the AI is moronic. And he gave me some extra attack points for free. This is scary, but we got negate attack, we got torrential, it'll be fine. Uh Oh! 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 Oh, it's a photo finish! Oh my god! Oh, this is the greatest fight of my life! Oh, watch this! Oh! Gemini Elf, hop over that dude! Mario Yoshi style! Kick him in the face! End this travesty! This tragedy! Oh! Not even have to pull out the torrential. Feels great. You say summoning Quasar who? This is the most hyped finish to a duel in history. Gemini Elf, both of you, crush each of his balls individually. Get anything good? Don't care. It's fine. Don't care. Alright. Almost kind of poetic that I ended on this. This is my guardian angel. Trying to choke me out and make misplays. I got totally whooped, but I'm never gonna quit as long as I got my whole future ahead of me. No future for you, I'm all deaf foring out of this. But not before I hear that. <laughs> Holy shit, this was stupid. Thank you all for joining tonight. You guys were nice tonight, so I'll treat you to a little something. I'm gonna show you the hero video script. No kidding, no joke right now. All right. What? Oh man, what? No, what? Uh, what? Oh god, no, what? Oh, that sucks. Stupid. That's so lame. Oh, fucking lame. I hate that shit. That's so. So bad. Ugh. Oh, get it out of here. I hate it. Why does it have to be that every time when there's a thing.